Hello everyone, welcome back. This is our seventh square in the Knit Along series, which is known as the Aster Stitch Square. It makes these beautiful clusters. And we are going to begin um, just to start with, it actually starts with two foundation rows of knit. But the pattern itself will start with, in this case we're going to use the silver, the, the grey colour here. We're going to slip the first stitch and then we're going to knit five wrapping the yarn twice around the needle. So we go around once, twice and then you can remove it from the needle. You'll see you'll have two extra stitches. Again, one rip, two wraps. And we'll do this for five stitches. Three, four and five. And then we'll slip the next stitch purlwise again and wrap twice for the next five stitches. Now last repeat, slip one, knit five wrapping yarn twice around needle. And then we just knit the last stitch. Okay, for the second row, we will begin with slipping the first stitch pullwise. We are now going to make the aster stitch. So we're going to drop the first loop of each of the stitch. So it will be the first stitch, that third stitch, you'll miss the next stitch, and then like for example the fifth stitch. So you just put your needle in and just drop the one loop, and this will create five long stitches. Like so, one, two, three, four, five long stitches. Then with your left hand needle, insert it into all of those stitches together. And we're going to pull them all together, but don't drop them from the needle yet. Wrap around the needle, pull the same five again, wrap around your needle, and pull five again and then you can drop. Slip the next stitch. I want to show you again. One, slip five, two, three, four, five. Pick all of them up again and then we pull five together, yarn run needle, pull, yarn round needle and pull again and you'll repeat this to the last stitch which will knit Slip one, make your aster stitch, and then we're going to knit the last stitch. on it a bit because it'll be quite loose. Then for the third and the fourth rows we're just going to use the next color. So I'm sorry as you can see there's some nice clusters there. For the third and fourth rows we're just going to knit. That's the end of the third row.
and again knit the fourth row. Rows 5 to 8 are worked in a similar way. You can see there's some nice clusters there. And then repeat these 8 rows. Rows 9 to 12 are 